Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are the LIA, Men Endless Legends, and I am the Marmoset, and we're at war. The Necrophages, they offend us greatly. We're going to prepare Auriga to survive the coming Greater Darkness. We need to purge them, and we need to capture three of their cities. So we are going to take Kuthan, Tid, and Oleron off them. Might actually just go the full whack and just scrub all of it. Capture three cities, even if temporary. So I think I might just burn them off the face of the earth. We'll capture three, and then capture those ones as well. But our basic objective is while we complete the rest of the questing, is we are going to burn the this, this faction necrophage off the face of Auriga. Why? Because they're just not very nice. And we're good people. And that's what good people do. Empty research queue has popped up. Um, got the production bits. Probably wouldn't mind that. Don't necessarily need, need more gold. Let's pop up to here. Food, always kind of handy. Uh, I will, however, take science. Minor for simulation slot and those two. Don't think desperately need anything else from this era. What would we, anything would we particularly like from here? We'll have the science, our production. Don't just need the dust. Uh, I do like that one. The Imperial News Network gives you big boosts. I'll have the Arts Council. Don't really need more influence. Yeah, okay. Trade routes will do. Happiness. City improvement, city improvement. Guardian of air, security, guardian of water, weapon types we're not going to be using. Alright, that's the research queued up for, for ages. In the interim, you've got no defences left. Face the power of me. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to water resolve that fight. <laughs> Don't think we actually took any damage. So, it's part of the problem with this is they're going to start knocking down our approval rating. Because we are going to be expanding. Which is always a little bit of a problem. Apparently we have enough pearls for a, a new Garth. At least in those ones. Uh, yes, have those ones. More production, more power. Just basically building our cities up to the point where we can actually do something about it. Right, so you've used your actions. So just come up over here. So if it said it's there, no, you've got so little move because you you are not a snow person. Do we have market heroes? We do have some LIA heroes available. So if we wanted to, sorry, if we wanted to, we could actually grab one of those. It would take a very while to level to get up to the point where we can actually be able to run around that easily. All right, fine. And end of turn. Okay, then we'll lose population next turn. Okay, fine. Have some food, you disgusting little things. No pop, no, nothing is assigned. Well, I'm going to be burning this down later anyway. So I don't really care. So I'm not going to be spend anything to survive the, to our attack. A few bits and pieces. Alright, and you are utterly unhappy due to rebellion. That's fine. Just build. Look at towers. the amount of time I care about you. Alright. Who's got movement? You don't. In turn. Are you going to have a go? You have taken our city from the high. We are not happy. The war has consequences. Let's talk about improving them. Mm, no. <laughs> Move you up to here. Any pearls about? No, you've collected those. Up to here. And then we'll immediately lay to see the next city, which will again have its defences collapse in a single turn. Notice that their army, I think, is running away from me. Imperial funding. Ooh, we have a lot of notifications. Peaceful actions for the week. We are not surprised that you are so attached to them. 
I will deal with that comment and then I will send you a warning. So, that Skyfin is leveled up. Production has been completed. We've got growth. Cannot reactivate Titan Bones. Anything else we can actually turn on? Yes, let's have more attack. Not just yet. Okay, Cold War Mildly Jealous. If you wish to be added to the list of the Hive's enemies, we will not stop you. <laughs> yeah, it's fine by me. And now let's deal with this fight. So, the army of Teed has apparently decided to come out and have a go. I will take this fight, though. It's going to be pretty simple work. Uh, and unfortunately, I think... Just double check. We're on normal difficulty. Um, so, the AI is not providing what you would call... the greatest challenge. I've been playing on some of the hard difficulties of some of my other little play around campaigns. You know, as I didn't even bother actually to tell them what to target, I'm just letting these guys get to work. Yeah, then go for the killings. More violence is what we want. Your only advantage is the fact that you are so far away, it took me a while to get to kill you. Did you take before the reinforcements came in? I think we have. They look pretty badass in dark. Yeah, they are pretty scary in winter. That said, we're white in the summer and black in the winter. Would it not make more sense from any kind of evolutionary perspective if we'd um, been black in summer and white in the winter? So, you know, you couldn't actually see us coming. Oh, well, disease being thrown around. Ooh, minus 288, good hit. That's the problem with fighting necrophages, they do a wonderful tendency to make all your troops ill. Never been a big fan of poison effects. in most games for my own units because they're just a little bit different. Like I said, that's a lot of damage being dealt out. So if you can get enough of them out, you can really just over time, over the course of a campaign, you just end up doing a lot of damage. I mean as it is, that's enough to make me slightly hesitant. But I'm pretty sure, since you attacked me there isn't ah, oh, there is that nearby army. With a hero it appears this might actually be something of a fight. Uh, apparently this doesn't seem to think so. Oh, it's because there's really no, no garrison in the city, that's why. Well, this is up close and personal. Everyone mob him. And go. So they've got sweep strike back. Sweep strike back three. Oh why I like ranged units. You can just have a squad of line infantry. And just practice force preservations. Like, how are units doing? They're absolutely fine. They are nowhere near the hideously awful plague ridden enemy. That said, 142 hit on their heroes. So pretty good. There's a the bonus damage in fact that is darkness. There goes down their hero. So moving in to sweep up. Oh, well, they did manage to freak get out. Do a little bit of damage to my hero. Another group coming out. They're getting poisoned. Doesn't look like it. That should be a kill down the bottom. Charging all the way across the map. Yeah, taking some damage here and there. I'm not immediately concerned, just finish them up. Switch so back. And let's get the hold here and heal. Careful on sweep strike back. Keep in mind that this many, which are very infantry heavy, 
army because it will ruin you if you are not careful. no end of deeply, deeply unpleasant pain. Yep, that's another city captured. Again. Just build stuff, I don't really mind. I'll take the vision just for something else to do. It'll be a very long time before you do that. You are apparently going to starve. Stop it all on food. I mean, it takes a while. I suspect that my own cities are beginning to complain. No. Thankfully, so many boosters active. Uh, yeah, Nola runs a little bit more unhappy. Probably spitting out a garth, not the best idea on that one. I will, however, on our tiny city over here. Put a garth out. Very cheap. Very cheap. What are these have we got that's, yeah, that's nice and cheap? Cheap. Cheap. Not expensive. More expensive. More expensive. It's a nice chunk of XP that would be good, be good to give to a character, just popping out of that one. So that city should grow a fair bit. Alright, uh, you hold. And you just hold. In fact, just dip inside the city for a little bit extra healing for this turn. Two more turns of winter, and then we're back to having full movement on our primary group. Auxiliary group, which means that they can then bop around and move as much as we do. Which one of these is their capital? Do we just take it? Yeah, that looks like their capital, so we'll take that one last. Two or three cities is done. Population has changed, so our armor has grown to 13. There's a load of buildings has just gone on. And you are out of things to build. Well, in that case, mining rights, automated industry, and imperial funding, if you wouldn't mind. Is that a one-off? No, it's not. Grand. Uh, yeah, let's give it an extra turn, just to get a little bit more healing out, and there comes summer. Slightly less dust than normal. Upcoming winter effects? Nothing happy. Right. Let's head this way. 13 movement, park up. 10 movement, park up. So I suspect we'll definitely drag that small squad in. Don't know if that squad of 6 will get dragged in. But, lay siege. So a fortification, end of ages. All tier 3 units of tier 3 dust available. Cultural Doctoration, Isolation Sciences, yes, you're having a go. So same. That number, that 85 there, gets added to the hit points of any units inside the city. So if you sit there and siege it for a bit, you can knock that down and thus make the defensive units that much weaker. It's only actually things that are inside the city. So this unit there outside, they're attacking me, not going to provide that much, won't have the extra bonus health in a little bit. When you ramp the difficulty up, the AI starts building the uh, towers and um, buildings that uh, cause retaliation damage. So if you're sat in or next to a city when you're trying to be sieging, the city fires back at you. So as much as you're doing damage to the city fortifications, the city's doing damage to you. And so I have on various occasions found it easier to provoke the AI to attacking me so that it empties the city um, rather than just waiting for me to have to run away because I've taken too much damage and can't stand outside of it any longer. No need for this. That's growth. Yeah, I don't care about Gurthan. It's full of evil necrophagy people. Yeah, I'm ready to fight. Yeah, I'm just going to launch. I'm going to grab a, have a drink briefly while my effective and dangerous um, um, units clear up. So perhaps I should have ordered them around a little bit since they appear to be dashing off into the distance. The other guy is quite so far away, it might be a bit of work to get him. 
I'm hoping Zios will move up and kill the thing that's left. Or at least maybe someone will. Take a You gonna be able to get in range? Nope. <laughs> Shame we couldn't find, have found a decent longbow for him. Because he's a hero, I do want to use a little bit of extra defense, but we've got so many infantry units. I suspect if we went to a longbow rather than a crossbow, we would be able to get more damage uh, on you. And there we go, that's another attack. Just out of interest. Go to your equipment. No, nope, can't check it. It's all locked out because we're in combat. That's fine. Alright, that's a slightly bigger one. So that includes the militia from here. A few extra armies and that. No hero. Um, it's got to be another Kate Walk. You can tell by that big disc in the middle with a tiny little red dash over there. Ready, go. Becomes, I will get involved uh, later on. Yeah, we just one shotted those guys. Nearly one shotted them. They did two health. Dice could be a little bit more friendly. You know, waste sending units up there to kill them off. Zoom in a bit so you can hear the violence. Yep, chittery death for you. One shotted that one. Violence of my hero turning up. Bye bye, snaky people. Here come my monks. Then we're gonna get in range. That looked kinda cool. <laughs> they just stood up on their uh, staffs and kinda thrust it at me. There's nothing else is dying somewhere else. That's the militia, I believe. So rather than killing the guy next to me, you kind of dashed off. This is the AI is targeting other isn't necessarily the smartest when it comes to picking targets. It's like I would kind of prefer it if it went. This person's right next to you. Would you be so kind to see you know hit him? Oh, I shot it in the head. And there's the round. Oh, apparently there's a few more reinforcements coming in. Die horribly. Those guys are going to just pause and decay. You guys actually put up a little bit of a fight. And then we're ruined. Poison, 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 poison. Yeah, it's going to tick through all my units now. Uh, still more. I suppose if it just mobbing their reinforcement points on me. Forages. I don't know what you were meant to do. Yeah. Didn't last long. Bit hard to range unit. It's armor on them. As it is, most of them just got chewed. I'm hoping we Zalvis just might have given a draw here because we can't kill them quickly. Some of the features I actually quite like them is the battle of the finite turn limit. You get six phases of it, and after that, it's like, oh no, that's done. Whereas actually. If you're playing the next phases, you want battles to last as long as possible because you've got damage over time boosts. So wipe them out. Took a bit of damage, so we're going to park up for a couple turns. And that'll be... Well, have we got an action point to use? Yeah, we can. So let's attack the city and take it. There's no defenders left. Thank you. So we got the Pearl of Replication. We're now immune to all winter penalties. The Temporal... That's core. Cool. So we need four... Purple spiky and 40 purple spiky and 40 green squarey. The sky's good out, the wind's bite, we have our altars, our sky for the people. Few but mighty, it will be enough. It must be enough.
beat 25 casts again in a row. Fresh bait at the pure. Thank you. Nice. Alright, let's get rid of these people, shall we? Alright, so the other thing we need to do is build that building for the win. So, to build. Temple of Earth's core. It's a building an energy source and a process, the fusion of dust and matter that trans any existing knowledge. By reacting the long dormant temple of the concrete endless, a faction can secure the future of their planet. Right? At the same time, be humbled by the vast government that separates them from their long lost masters who have built this marble. 40 of each. So we are making none of them, two of them. You, my fluffy friend, back up over there. And we need a green. Don't think that's got a processor on it. So, where were you? Now oh, you're harvesting that titanium. Get on that. 40 of each. Well, if we've got to the end of the war, you know, and these guys oh, still in our way, alright, so you dump it all onto food yeah, build me a dye extractor you had a lot of dyes, did you? Hmm. apparently you don't have anything else worth building fine, well I wanted to how's our yeah, our happiness is decreasing a fair bit. So, can I... What is it going to do? Is it salt the earth, I think it is? No, and I will just spit out some resources for you guys. And I will rebuild the village. Just build the very basics. And then leave you be. I have no particular interest in spending a lot of time fussing about these villages. Generate more influence. Construction manually. Uh, I don't want you spending my resources, thank you. Alright, we need. We've got a couple armies that need to just take a turn or a breather and heal up. So that you do that. Wireless ones ready to be simulated. End of the turn. Yep, that's the other end quest which we're not going to be pursuing. We are going to be doing the Earth Core. Undisputed. I have the Farthinger. A free counter. Fair enough. Whereas we need to get more of these units if we're going to move on. You two stay there and there. You're moving up to grab onto that, so I need to make sure I'm not yet building that extractor, because I'll get more from you. Our other one must have already be moving out. That's right, you're heading for that one. Suits me. Anyone got nope. Got production. It's fine by me. End that turn. Alright. Grand. Alright, while we wait for this to sort out, I will see you next time, ladies and gentlemen. I have been the Marmoset. This has been Endless Legends. Quest Ally has ended with us realising we have to weather the winter and protect our eager as best we can. All we need to now do is build the machine that will power our capital through the dark times that we may have worked later on. This we'll hopefully be doing in the next episode. Bye for now. Please remember, like, comment and subscribe.